Shazam! Fury of the Gods hits theaters this weekend, and between all of his siblings being empowered and the villains being called the Daughters of Atlas, it's pretty clear that family is going to be a theme yet again, so this seems like a perfect time to talk about the Shazam family. The Shazamily. The current cinematic incarnation is based pretty faithfully off the new 52 reboot incarnation of Shazam. This is also when they officially changed his name from Captain Marvel because... reasons. Eugene, Darla, and Pedro all debuted in the Flashpoint event leading up to it, but Mary and Freddy have a bit more history behind them pre-New 52. Mary was originally Billy Batson's long-lost biological sister, who went by the superhero name Mary Marvel, but then... some stuff happened and her character took a turn into a corrupted, villainous version of herself. Fortunately, things were put back, and as of the most recent incarnation of the universe, she's not only a hero again, she's also the new official Shazam and champion of the Rock of Eternity while Billy's off doing... other stuff. Freddy, in his original version, was a friend and classmate of Billy's who was granted Captain Marvel powers to save his life after he was attacked by Captain Nazi. Okay, next episode's probably gonna be about Shazam's rogues gallery, he's got some crazy ones. Allowing him to transform into Captain Marvel Jr., Interesting thing to note, Freddy transformed by saying the name Captain Marvel instead of Shazam, which made introducing himself... difficult without transforming back. The shazam net goes much wider than just the six from the movie in New 52, though. There were also the Lieutenant Marvels, three kids also named Billy Batson, who, through a quirk of the empowerment spell, were also able to transform themselves into superpowered alter egos, though they vowed only to do so together and if asked by the main Billy. There's Uncle Marvel, an old con artist by the name of Dudley H. Dudley who claimed to be Mary's uncle and wanted to be the Marvel family's manager. They all saw through it, but decided to play along with it just to humor him because old comics are a trip. Uncle Marvel didn't actually have any powers, but pretended as if he did, and would always blame his inability to use them on a made-up condition called Shazambago. My personal favorite is Talkie Tawny, whose origin changes drastically depending on the state of the universe, but in most incarnations, is some flavor of magic anthropomorphic tiger. In his original incarnation, he was actually just a regular old tiger with the inexplicable ability to talk and walk upright who decided to come to the USA and try to integrate a human society, though it was later clarified he'd been given a presumably magic serum. Since then, he's been a magically animated stuffed animal, a zoo animal granted magical powers to fight Black Adam and a spell gone slightly askew, and most recently, an inhabitant of a magical realm called the Wildlands populated entirely by anthropomorphic animals. But regardless of origins, what's not to love about a magically empowered tiger? Of course, Black Adam and his associated supporting characters are also heavily connected with Shazam in the comics, but since Dwayne Johnson thought he was too important to fight Shazam, I'm gonna clap back with the idea that he's not important enough to cover here, and skip over them. Maybe I'll get to them later. 